Hey everyone, it's Zoe from Colors Creative and today I'm going to show you how to create this image where the text is going both in front of and behind the image. This is a really interesting effect and I've seen that people have been able to do this um, in Canva a lot and, uh, and it's been very successful and I wanted to see if I could achieve this in Adobe Express and it turns out you can. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how I created this uh, image in Adobe Express. So first of all, let's dive on in. OK, once you've opened up Adobe Express, I have to add, as always, Adobe Express is a free package for you to use and it's great for using in your social media, flyers, leaflets, etc. So I'm going to start with a customized sign. I'm going to go for social post, Instagram, like the Instagram square size and it opens up a blank template. From there I'll go to photos. Now on the photos I just wanted to add that if you're a premium paid subscriber um, you have access to these all the images that have this crown on but if you're using the free version uh, they're still thousands of images that uh, that you can use you can have access to so it's still worth um worth using adobe express even if you're not a premium paid member and you want to use the free version it's uh, still a great tool so first of all we type in uh, our search which is for me it's the man exploring nature and there he is so once you click on that it'll go straight onto your template and you can expand the size of this Okay, so once you've got your background image all lined up and ready to go, this is when the fun starts. What you're going to do is click on that and duplicate it. And once you've duplicated it, um, it will show you in the bottom there all the layers. So this is the top layer and we are going to do this great tool here, which is called Remove Background. And as you can see, it's done a fantastic job of removing all the background that we wanted to get rid of and just leaving the man. So I click yes, I'm happy with that. And then I just line that up. So the next thing to add would be the text. So you go to the text tool, add your text, and it's going to be explore nature. Going to have it central and I'm going to change the font. There are dozens and dozens of different fonts that you can use uh, that are all free to use. But the font that I'm looking for is the Antique Olive. That's great. And I'm going to change that size too. So there you have it, it's covering the image. Now, what you need to do is go back to your layers here. Remember, it's almost like uh, clear plastic sheets and every clear plastic sheet has um, a certain layer or a certain image of it. And you can move those sheets to uh, to suit whatever, uh, whatever effect you're after. So for this effect, I'm gonna take the gentleman with no background, put him to the front, and I'm going to have a look at the explore text and I want to overlay this. So I'm going to duplicate and I am going to do an, I'm going to go for an outline effect. Now I want the outline effect to be the same color as the text and I want the text to be transparent and I would like this to be a little bit thinner in the outline and then what I do is I simply put that text in front and I line it up and there you have it so you've got a really fabulous image where you've got the words intertwining with part of the image it gives a really great effect and uh, I feel it's as somebody who's viewing this it kind of draws you in now you can create this kind of effect with uh, with most images and this is another one that I did time to dance again you know taking out the background 
adding um, the text on top with an outline really draws your eye in and uh, it can make images really fun to look at so people just read and take in I mean this would be great for something like advertising clothing for summer so uh, it's fun and it draws people in so those are some great examples of using imagery and text and how you can overlay them in Adobe Express. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or any questions, please put them uh, in the comment box below. Thank you very much. Bye.